Hello guys. So this is a roll between me and another fellow teammate. We're both blue belts. His name's Jabs. He's actually a legit competitor. He trains every day. He's in the gym every day, man. He does competitions and all that. Me, I'm a 40-year-old man. I train two to three times per week, if that. Um, doing it quite a while, a couple of years now. So anyways, here I got him in a little De La Hiva. He's trying to uh, stuff my leg. Just not letting him have it. Guys with the underhook right there, scoop me around, but I stay clamped on him pretty tightly. Nice little leg drag there. Nothing. I'm not working too hard on it. So here, plants his knee down. As soon as you did that, I chopped it. I got the little sweep there. Put his hand in the mat, and then I, I finished the sweep by grabbing his wrist. And it comes right back on top. I throw that vicious triangle right away. I got the triangle. It was really tight, but when he fell over, I lost the squeeze on it, and I tried to go for an arm bar, but it just wasn't happening there. It was a bad angle. And then from here, get him into a little mount. Try to get an arm bar. He defended pretty good. Um, from here, just just holding him, staying on top. My legs are getting pretty tired here and exhausted. I thought I was just going to let it go, but we ended up rolling over and I had to let the triangle go because, man, my legs were being burnt. I had a few minutes left of this roll, but he ends up getting on top there. Um, I'm comfortable in this position. Uh, my goal when I roll is just don't get submitted. I don't ever try to just go for the win or the tap. You know, I just, my goal is defensive wise, just don't let him submit me no matter what. So now, Jazz is very good at back takes and staying connected on the back. He's a lot shorter than me. Um, center of gravity is a lot lower than mine. Uh, so when he gets those hooks in, you're, you're stuck there sometimes. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm just pretty much waiting for him to, to mess up. Um, defending the choke, the collar chokes. He's trying everything to get it. And I'm just, you know, hand fighting. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Seems like he tried to do a uh, bow and arrow choke on me. Wasn't letting him have it. Took the top little S mount there. Not giving him that collar. So he put the hook back in. He rolls back. Roll me back over. Now here. You notice he's just got that little grip there on my wrist. Oh. Try to go for a nice little switch on the hips right there. Arm bar. Now watch here. Watch my escape. I gave it to him, but I turned my elbow up so he can't get it. Threw, the he threw my head under his feet and just came up quickly. I don't think he expected that at all. Now I got him here. I'm holding him here. I am, I am exhausted here. I am exhausted. Just let you guys know that. So. So we both just reset, slap, bumped him, about to start all over again, grab his wrists, always try to grab something, not using any strength here, no strength whatsoever, just letting him throw his weight to me, that's all I'm doing. So here he throws on top, I got his ankle, I got his collar in my right hand, and then I grab his ankle. So here I lunge him up my body weight over him, threw his feet out again so I could take that back. That was nice. Throw my hand over his collar, throw the hook over. So I got my hand grabbing his collar. When I get on top, I actually lock it in an Ezekiel choke. Got the Ezekiel, throw my hips into his back, and there's the tap. Round ended within five seconds of that tap. We literally went the entire five minutes, and I got the tab at the very end, and I literally could not believe I did it. 
especially when this dude is a competitor, man, he's like 10 years younger than me or more, probably, probably 15 years younger than me. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this and stay tuned for more. Thanks.